12 papers, same size as your hands, so they're not going to do much good. So what they have to do instead is they have to wiggle their bum from side to side like a giant fish in the water, just like that. So that is how a seal moves from place to place. And all because there's different size flippers. Now the far difference between seals and sea lions is actually the noise that they make. You've done a good job getting involved so far, so we'll get you guys involved again. After three, I want to hear your very best seal or sea lion impression. So kids, poke your adults, get them involved. After three, your best seal or sea lion impression. One, two, three. That was very good. First seven guys. Well done. That was a really good impression of a Californian sea lion. Now these are actually Patagonian sea lions, so they're also known as the South American sea lions. You find them in areas such as Chile, Peru, Uruguay and also Argentina. Now as a result they don't make that honking or barking noise because that's the noise of the Californian. So our girls are a little bit more ferocious, a little bit more lion-like. So we've got Atlanta, who sounds like that nice short and oh snappy for me today Atlanta. We've got Winnipeg, our loudest. Okay, we've got Sydney over here, that's not very nice Atlanta. We've also got Sydney, a nice sh a short quick walk from Sydney too. So they've all got their own different voices. We've got Paris who um, sounds like a dinosaur grumbling. Um, and we've also got Milan who sounds like Homer Simpson burping. But of course that's how they can communicate with one another, obviously outside of the water. Now when it comes to seals, seals are really quiet animals. You don't tend to hear much noise from a seal whatsoever. Now you guys have done a good job getting involved so far, so we're going to play a guessing game now because seals and sea lions, they do have something in common and that is the predators that they have to look out for. So Aww. our girls are going to do some impressions of them and I'll give you a few clues along the way. So this first one is a large fishy predator. It's got its own movie and the feature goes something like... What animal is that? Shark! A shark! Do, 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 do. So shout out, after three, think you know what our sea lions are pretending to be? One, two, three! Yeah! Easy peasy, never squeezy. It was a shark. Not just any shark. The great white shark is a really scary predator of a sea lion. They've got to be very careful and on the lookout for them. Now, there is a second predator out there. This one's a bit more difficult. This one is much, much larger than our sea lions. They go to around nine metres in length. They are black and white in coloration. Oh um, um, the grip of them is known as a pod. And of course, when they jump out of the water, they jump out of the water with a really big splash. So we'll get an action replay from our girls. Remember, a marine yes! mammal this time. So <laughs> on the three, shout out. Whale! Sea lions playing to me. One, two, three. Whale! Whale! Brilliant. Well I didn't even ask. Go ahead, Orca, and I had Killer Whale. If you said either of those, you are correct. They are the same animal. Did anyone say dolphin? Pop your hand up if you said dolphin. Because if you said dolphin, you were super duper clever. Because the Killer Whale is not actually a whale at all. It got lost in translation <laughs> along the way somewhere and it's actually the largest member of the dolphin family. So if you said any of those three you are correct. A very scary predator of a sea lion. So of course sea lions they've got to try and evade these predators. They've got to try and keep themselves safe. So one of the behaviours they're able to do to try and escape a predator is something known as porpoising. So porpoising is this, is jumping up and down, I don't know where they've gone, here they are, uh, jumping up and down out of the water, they can twist and turn as they go. Now of course, if you see our three sea lions in and out of the water, if you see every time they come back into the water, it creates lots of bubbles. So if you imagine out in the wild, there might be lots and lots of groups of sea lions hanging out in the area, one of them might see a shark or an orca in the distance, and they all start porpoising. So you might be seeing hundreds of sea lions porpoising at the same time. Wow. It's going to create lots of bubbles and lots of confusion and hopefully it means that those sea lions are going to be able to deter that predator and are going to be able to make a nice safe getaway. Now sea lions, they are also marine mammals. They cannot breathe under the water. So every time they come into the surface, they're taking a really big gasp of air and hopefully that means they can porpoise for as long as possible. And hopefully, again, they're gonna be able to swim away to safety. They're gonna live to see another day and they're definitely not gonna be predating. Uh, they're not gonna be um, predated upon a sea, uh, by a orca or a sea, um, I can't get my words out, a shark. You know the animals I'm talking about. But of course, porpoising isn't going to work sometimes because those sharks and those orcas 
They are going to be really good finishers. So sometimes this porpoising isn't quite the trick they're going to have to do. They're going to have to go one step further. So what they do is they launch their body weight out of the water and into the air. They want to try and land on that predator's head. Because like I said, our sea lions, they weigh in between 90 for Winnipeg back there. But Paris in the houses, she weighs up to 140, 150 kilos at some point. Not the end, but normally there is. Look, they're going to do it again. They're definitely going to have a headache. They're going to be very dazed and confused. They won't be predating upon our sea lions face all. So lots of different tactics to escape those predators and try and keep themselves safe. Now our sea lions here at Colchester Zoo, they are available for adoption. So if you wanted to go home today, knowing you've adopted your very own pack, Line. If you head to guest services, they must give you all the information about that. But for now, from myself, Sydney, Winnipeg and Atlanta, thank you very much for coming along and have a wonderful rest of your day. You're a cold,